What's up, everybody? It's Kenny Cummins here, chilling with Jeffrey Kenny C, and I'm joined with a hip hop artist out of Kentucky. He's got a lot going on, new music on the way, and uh, he's going to be an opening act for Ace Hood at Louisville next week. The homie, High Dollar Allah, is joining me right now. Hey, bro. Oh, thank you for having me, for sure. So, um,. Shout out to the homie High Dollar Aller joining me on the show. I know, I see you you a wrestling fan. I see, I see. I, oh yeah, for sure. So and uh, it's a it's a big night for wrestling right now. All in, it's in progress. Uh, I know it's my my social media is flooded with with the reactions and things like that. I'm pretty sure yours is getting quite the uh, the reaction as well. But uh, I'm glad to have you on, and uh, let's get into the questions, man. Um, All right. So how did you get started in music, you know, being a hip-hop artist? How did it start off for you? So, like, when I was 12, uh, my best friend, who now he's my my engineer and my manager, he wanted to make, like, a little rap group. So uh, we started out with, like, six people, and it got knocked down year after year to just being me. And him doing it. And we started with a rock band microphone from the video game, a mm. uh, karaoke machine, and just like the Windows recorder. And then you know, I wrapped up until I was 18. And then I quit. I started up last year, and it's blown up this year. So it's been pretty crazy. But. I've heard of you through some other artists. And I think the one artist I've heard of you through is a guy from Barstown, his name is Drama. Uh, he uh, released an album recently. Shout out to him. He was opening at for Tech Nine at Lexington. Yeah. I was at the show that night. It was freaking wild. So, uh, um, who do you consider your influences as an artist? Who are your musical influences? So, I don't think I sound like anybody. I don't know if that sounds cocky or not, but. The ones that I listened to coming up that gave me an idea about like how to rap was for sure like Lil Wayne. He's my favorite artist ever. His wordplay is insane. And then Eminem, because I don't think anybody can go bar for bar with him. So when I started writing, I wanted to make songs that were mainstream sounding like Lil Wayne, but also have the lyrical ability that you know Eminem brought into it. And Tech Nine too, Strange Music's insane too. But I wanted that kind of stuff like where it can play on the radio. But I can also know I'm a rapper and not just somebody mumbling on a beat. You know what I mean? <clears throat> I, I'm i happy to hear that, you know, Lil Wayne got his situation with Cash Money settled. So hopefully quarter yeah. five will see the light of day. If not this year, maybe next year. I think, you know, $10 million lot one, you know, I wouldn't blame him if he was – not in such a hurry right now. So he's just out there just reflecting and everything. So and as for really, if I was you know, I would I would just drop the Carter Five, like not even release it and make a whole new album with his mind fresh though. So you know, the whole time he was recording Carter Five that had to be on his mind, so I don't think he's gonna come with it like he will after Carter Five. I agree a hundred percent. You know, whatever he had in store around the time the lawsuit happened. It's probably at the back burner at this point. So I say, you know, put it out next year, I think. You know, yeah. it'll be all about you. Right now, people are talking about Jay, talking about Eminem, who just released a surprise album and just yeah. bashed the heck out of everybody. You know, <laughs> Slim Shady is back. If, if you – look, I'm just going to say this. If you like Revival – but if you don't like the old Slim Shady stuff, do not listen to Kamikaze. He snaps out at everybody that say anything sure. about him. Uh, and I had a conversation with another rapper about it recently. And I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say the same thing. If you even think about having a problem with Marsha Mathers at this particular time, leave that white boy alone. <laughs> leave that man alone like you thought the old Eminem was an in indication this current dude you know <laughs> I mean he went at Joe Budden he went at Lil Zane, Charlamagne Drake um it don't matter MGK, if you got MGK like MGK has had a 
He's had quite a busy 24 hours himself, going back and forth with G-Eazy, you know. But Kamikaze, I'm not going to say it's album of the year, but it's probably the hardest album you're going to hear all year long as far as lyrically. Yeah. Lyrically, like, that's that's just, man, it's a complete opposite of revival. And, you know, and I, I get it. I get it, you know. That's the beauty of music that just puts your feelings out there. Um, and uh, on to the next um, um, set of questions here. Um, so we know you got the uh, show coming up, you know, being the opening act for Ace Hood, which I believe is uh, is next weekend. Um, yeah. And we'll get into that in a moment. But what else you have in store for the remainder of the year. Now you obviously put out a new song recently, but what else you have in store? Are we gonna get a new E P mixtape or album? Like what else you have in store for the remainder of the year? I'm I'm currently working on a new album that I'm gonna release at the start of the next year. I'm about halfway through it now. And uh, I'm trying to set up a uh charity concert in my hometown in Henry County. And uh, in the works of getting that done, hopefully it gets finalized this week. I can really announce it for sure. But those are basically the only two things I got. Uh, hopefully another show comes up because after Ace Hood, I've only got uh, I got two more kind of smaller shows. But uh, I mean, this is the first year I did shows. I'm coming up on my fifth one, so it's moving pretty quick now. But uh, that's the rest of the year. Basically, gonna drop a couple of throwaway singles, songs that didn't make the album, and then release the album at the start of nineteen. Awesome, man! So let's get into the Ace Hood show next weekend. Um, Ace Hood, people may know. You know, he once upon a time was part of DJ Khaled's "We the Best Music," and he has worked with some of the biggest names, which also includes the aforementioned Lil Wayne. Um, I'm an Ace Hood fan. I've been a fan of him since Gutter. I feel like he's underrated as a MC himself. Um, obviously, him being in Florida, people get all the attention is on Rick Ross and Trick Daddy and other guys. But Ace Hood is nice. Ace Hood is nice. And uh, how's that feel for you? You know, being getting the opportunity to be an open act for him next weekend. So like. In middle school, maybe early high school, he dropped uh, Ruthless. Mm -hmm. That was one of my favorite albums and still is. His song, Loco with the Cake, I play it every time I'm trying to get pumped up. So uh, I'm really honored, to be honest with you, to open for Ace Hood. It's my biggest show, biggest act I've been around. And from what I've seen, he's a pretty humble guy, so it's going to be cool to be able to meet him, somebody I looked up to as a kid, and be on the same stage as him. I think that's crazy. I never would have imagined that I'd be doing a show with somebody who did songs with Future and Lil Wayne and DJ Khaled. So I'm, I'm, I'm really honored to be able to do that. It's going to be a great show. Everybody needs to come out. You yourself, you can come out September 8th, Saturday. It's going to be fun. That's definitely going to be a wild show right there. So um, so go, go support the homie and uh, support local music, support local hip-hop. A lot of talented artists out here. In the state of Kentucky, doing big things. Um, so, as far as you know, from a performance side of things, what are some of your favorite songs that you like to perform on stage? My favorite song to perform is definitely uh, "Another Face." It's uh, not the newest song I released, but the one before that. Mm -hmm. And I, I really get into that song. It's more of a, a hype beat. You can really get down to it. So it's like, I like jumping around and stuff, and it goes really good with that song. But I also like to perform my song HDO because it's got a repeating hook. It just says HDO, HDO a bunch of times in it. So the crowd gets really involved in that one. So that, that, that hypes you up as an artist as soon as you start to hear people saying your lyrics, even if it's just that. It's crazy to hear it. So I, I love performing that one for that reason. I definitely got a chance to hear... Uh, all of your songs on Spotify. Um, I become quite an addict on Spotify, and 
I like to mm. listen what's, what else is out there I like HDO I like medicine and um, me being a wrestling fan I like the Ric Flair joint too the Ric <laughs> That, that was my first song after I came back. It was just read up. So, um, yeah, yeah. Um, All In is in progress right now. Cody, I didn't, and this is what I thought. At first, I thought this was a Wing of Honor event, but it's actually a, a event put together by Cody and the Young Bucks. You know, this, this is their event, you know, and obviously you get wrestlers from Impact, Wing of Honor, New Japan, and, you know, <laughs> My favorite wrestler right now is Kenny Omega. That's my dude right Are you there. Dumb? That dude like is on a whole nother level. Um Yeah. I like I like that dude for real. Um as far as um advice, um uh, what would your advice be to anyone that wants to get into music, that wants to get started into it? The the number one thing I can say is just do it not be worried about like what people are going to think or whatever. If, if it makes you happy, do it. I didn't do music to get any kind of clout or recognition or whatever. I did this because I enjoyed doing it. It helps me get through a lot of stuff. So the best thing to do is just do it. And then on top of that, if you think you're good, if you think you can go somewhere, you have to invest. It takes money to make money and it takes, it takes time, effort, patience, all of that. But if you don't invest in yourself, you don't buy a beat, so that you can get licenses. If you don't pay for stuff to go here or there or buy on shows, nobody's ever going to know who you are. You can be the best rapper in the world. If you don't spend any money on yourself, nobody's ever going to see that. Nobody's ever going to care. That's the truth of it all. It definitely takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of dedication um, and sacrifice, obviously, in order to get to where you need to be and you know, networking with people. You know, and obviously, hip hop can be competitive at times. It still is to this day. It's kind of been that way for a long time. But I feel like yeah. from the hip hop artists that I've got a chance to see, you know, they don't come across as competitive. They just love what they do, and they support fellow artists. You know, that there are going to be some eagles here and there, but for the most part, there's a lot of genuine good people. And they just want to, they want to succeed and they want to see others succeed. You know, can, you know, when the perception of Kentucky is that horses, bourbon, and college basketball. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and, and as a advocate of a local music, I can assure people that we, that Kentucky is more than that. There's a lot of talented musicians from all sorts of genres. And I listen to all types of music, but I'm a heavy hip hop guy. Like that's my number one genre that I listen to. You know, it, it helps me through tough times, and it gets me turned up, partying and having a good time. You know, and the energy that the artists do put themselves out there, you know, shows. It just shows the the, the versatility of what these artists can do. So. I salute guys like yourself. I salute drama. I salute so many other MCs in Kentucky that's doing their thing. And um, and the Medicine Joint, that's your latest song that you put out. It's available on all digital music platforms. Um, where can people uh, check you out social media-wise? And uh, where can people hear your music? Um, Facebook is just High Dollar Aller. It's all one word. Uh, Instagram at High Dollar Aller, and my uh, my Snapchat is Noah Aller, and uh, I'm on every music platform. I have my own station on Pandora, High Dollar Aller Radio. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Rap Caviar's playlist. Uh, the last I checked, and all the other ones, Apple Music, Deezer, whatever it is, I'm on everything. Well, it's great getting a chance to chat with you man I want to thank you for being on the show truly appreciate it uh, everybody go check him out High Dollar Aller at um, Louisville next week opening at one of the opening acts for Ace Hood Ruthless Gunner yeah. 
that dude, DJ Khaled, former artist of his, he will be at Louisville, and uh, High Dollar Aller is going to be one of the local opening acts that's going to hold it down for the KY. Continued success, homie. Thank you for being on the show. And uh, and uh, you got any final words to the supporters and anyone out there? I'm going to say uh, thank you for having me on for sure. This is my first radio interview, so it's pretty cool. Awesome, And man. uh and everybody just check it out. Come through to Trixie September 8th. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. You have a good night, man. You too. All right, bye-bye.